What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So this video will be about the I Know What You Did Last Summer Legacy sequel or what I like to call I Know What You Did Last Summer 3 because I always know what you did last summer is a train wreck and it does not deserve to be called 3. So we're going to be talking about that film, going over some rumored plot details, going over this rumored title that's now been denounced and just a little bit more to speculate. So I Know What You Did Last Summer's Legacy sequel that we know is supposed to be taking the Scream 2022 approach is expected to shoot in Australia, and from what I'm hearing, casting calls are making the rounds out there, so Australia seems like a lock. I will say these are just rumored plot details until further notice, but 9 is out of 10 because of the source of the information, we should have a confirmation in the near future. And of course, the names that I mentioned could be placeholder names and could be subject to changing. So, in the past, I've talked about the story and how it's supposed to be going back to Southport. It's 30 years later, there's an engagement party, where an accident might occur, Ben Willis's story has become like this local legend of sorts and is recited during this engagement party to, to the youth that's present. The story then jumps a year later, focusing on characters like Milo and Ava, who have a rocky history together. But what other characters and plot points can be expected for I Know What You Did Last Summer? Well, it would appear some other characters you can expect are Wyatt, Dr. Emma, Danica, Teddy, and Sanford. Now, Wyatt is engaged to some unnamed female who is nervous about marrying him because her last fiance, Teddy, walked out a month before their wedding. Wyatt also has a crypto wallet and is someone who is very respectful, I guess you could say, towards his fiance's feelings about him possibly walking out on her uh, tries to coddle those emotions a bit and just reassure her that he's not going to do what Teddy did. Dr. Emma is some sort of therapist, it seems, for this unnamed fiance to Wyatt. Dr. Emma's philosophy to this fiance is I'm not my actions or words and that I'm safe. I guess Teddy sent her to therapy. But we'll see and get a bigger picture of all of this, get the full picture soon enough when this film drops next year. One thing I wonder is if Wyatt and this female are the ones having the engagement party, or is this another couple who is also getting married? I will hope these are the friends Ava and Milo are supporting, just so the film isn't crowded with marital situations. But that's all I had on the plot stuff. It's becoming more clear that a wedding is involved with this story. So was an engagement party. A fiance who was uncertain of her soon to be husband, crypto wallets, climate influencers, a killer, of course, and a potential protagonist named Ava who likes to sleep around to cope with whatever accident it is that occurs between this friend group. Now, Jennifer Caton Robinson did denounce this rumored title Production Weekly had up about the upcoming legacy sequel. It was listed as I never forget what you did last summer. Where they got that title from, I have no clue, but I wonder if it's possibly a working title, even if it's not the official title. Perhaps it's a working title, although, like many of you pointed out, it is grammatically incorrect. My thing still remains. The thing that I'm still focusing on is this, though. With all of these details, waiting for them to be confirmed, of course. Julie. My question mark still is Julie. Where does Julie factor into this? Julie, I know the what we heard is that from the director or one of the writers at some point in an interview in the past have said, who is Julie James in a world where there are no secrets or something like that? So what I just it seems very crowded. It seems so crowded already with the new characters. I would hope that there is something substantial for Julie to do, but I also don't want to see a, a situation where. Julie comes in at the last minute and it's uneventful or Ray comes in at the last minute and it's uneventful or Carla comes in at the last minute and it's uneventful. If you're going to have these stars back, like I say before, with the characters when it comes to the screen franchise, make some sort of significant use of them. You know, I, I get that they're saying the story can't work without Julie. That's what we've heard. But what what about this makes Julie so important? We're going to have to wait to get the bigger picture. That's I guess I'm excited for that and also kind of skeptical because I want you to lean on 
the newer cast. I don't want you to lean on Legacy. You know, I know what you did last summer isn't as popular as Scream. I know what you did last summer can get away with telling a story that is far superior than the actual third movie we got. They can get away with doing that and not including the Legacy stars. So I hope we're not making a mistake by including these people. It's not to say that, of course, they won't give a tremendous performance. Jennifer, Jennifer Love Hewitt and Freddie Prinze Jr. I'm certain would be up to task to or up to the task of giving us another great performance as Ray and Julie. I wouldn't be shocked if Sarah Michelle Gellar comes back to give us a wonderful cameo appearance as Helen. But again, with all of these newbies, I am intrigued to see how they balance all of this and how the legacy cast get involved with a situation like this. Because, again, it seems that there's a wedding. Something happens at an engagement party. Uh, I'm just really intrigued to see all of this come together. But you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.